Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at all the amazing new design tools and resources for the month of January 2025. There's a Figma to Real app and website converter. There are new AI tools. Photoshop is bringing Figma-like features and so much more in this month's edition. So make sure you watch till the end. Also, hit the like button if you like the video. Before we jump into it, we're having an amazing UX UI meetup in Chandigarh. So if you're in Punjab or in Chandigarh, learn and network with hundreds of designers. We're having it on 16th of February in Punjab University in Chandigarh. Grab your tickets from the link in the description. The first tool is called Figma 2 Real App by Builder and Lovable. Lovable is a really cool tool which allows you to type in your requirements, give prompts to tweak your designs and even add functionality through a very simple no-code platform. They've recently introduced a Figma integration. So if you use the Builder plugin inside Figma, you can convert any of your websites or app designs into a functional coded out product. And from there, you can quickly just add features by prompting in AI and even have the ability to add animations, change your designs and so much more with just the power of AI. You just type in and everything just happens magically. I've given a complete tutorial on this as well recently. If you want to visit that, again, the link will be in the description for later on. But this is a really cool leap in the right direction. AI being used for the right thing. Next tool is a really cute tool for sure. This is called Notion Faces. This is what Notion employees were using earlier, where they would put these customized Notion-like illustrations. Now this is up for grabs for everyone, to the public. In this right, nice little tool, you can quickly change skin tone, change the eyes of your avatar or avatar. You can change even your eyebrows, your mouth, your nose, your eyewear, whatever you like. And you can give almost a custom look to this. There are hundreds of choices for different customizations. You can then save it to a nice little library. You can even customize it, add captions, etc. Share it online or download it to use on different social media. Great thing is you can even apply it to your Notion library. So you have this nice Notion-esque look. You can send this to your teammates. Everyone can have their own Notion avatar. This is a really cool thing that the Notion team has done for everyone. Now this next one is After Effects, but in the browser and super easy to learn. This is called Phase and it's calling itself Simple Animations for Product Designers. You can create lotty animations with this at a very expert level, so multiple keyframes, etc. Or at a beginner level with just a few changes here and there. And as long as you can fiddle with any property, you can add path animations, you can create Duolingo style or Netflix style animations. You can import stuff from Figma, import SVGs, and you can export this as a GIF MP4 or even as a .lotty or .json file. There is also a developer handoff tool built right into this. So you can quickly just share it with your dev teams and they can quickly just import it into their code to start using it in different parts of your design. They have a lot of tutorials and lessons built into their website for animations to design, how to use different properties, motion parts and whatnot. So you can always learn from scratch if you don't have any knowledge of such tools. Now recently, ChatGPT has gotten its rival called DeepSeek. This is a Chinese company which has just come into the limelight and boy is this super powerful almost instant 100% free of cost and it can do everything that ChatGPT could do but can also do a little more. For example I tried one where I uploaded a screenshot of a design and asked it for tips and tricks to improve this design. I also asked it to create a Figma plugin. So it gave me all the instructions as well as all the code that I just need to copy paste now and I'll have a fully fledged Figma plugin. Now what's cool about the Deep Seep at just this early stage are two things. One, you can quickly uh, switch to a search the web option here. So you can quickly just ask it to search for, uh, on your behalf the entire web for anything. For It could be for resources, for research work, whatnot. But it also has something called Deep Think R1, which is all about reasoning, as if you're trying to reason with a human being. So if I have a question like, hey, I'm going to a UX design interview with Uber tomorrow. Do you have any suggestions or can you help me out? I put this in. First of all, the thinking process is very fast. What's cool about this is that it's explaining what the AI is thinking in the background, which is absolutely insane. Everything that the AI is thinking for you 
it is out here and the answers to be honest are not only lengthier but they're more detailed and very answer oriented this is actually explaining each and every point in detail which is absolutely something that chat gpt has missing wow deep seek has a lot of things to offer technically i'll have some links in the description to show you how it might be different from chat gpt and how you can start using it i'm pretty sure you're using chat gpt this is a free alternative for it which is breaking the internet okay figma has an inspiration on every tool now adobe recently announced that they're bringing figma like collaboration to their photoshop platform and of course once that happens it'll be on all their tools it's as easy as sharing a link and someone can just join you from wherever they are in the world and start editing and designing with you i don't know why they hadn't brought this earlier because xd had it back in the day so i'm not sure why they haven't brought it yet but hey Photoshop and other Adobe tools are soon going to get this live this live editing feature like Figma. So recently Spline introduced something called Spell. Spell is a 3D world or environment generator. So you can create a scene along with 3D objects. For example, this video showcases how each 3D asset now has an environment you can rotate around and kind of see the environment. And this is based on the lighting that is being portrayed for the 3d object the kind of environment that suits the 3d object and it can not only create a 3d environment and it can create this from just a 2d environment as well so converting 2d environments into 3d ones is also going to be much easier now this is again under their paid plan so unfortunately you can't access this for free anymore they had a small free period in the beginning of january but now it's gone but the fact that you can actually do something like this tweak or uh, tweak it a little bit and have something presentable is fantastic now if you watch my channel you probably have watched mikal's channel as well uh, he's an amazing designer and youtuber and content creator how he'll be teaching everyone how to not only get hundreds of thousands of subscribers on youtube design user interfaces where he's been able to sell his ui forward for more than $200,000 uh how he has created these guides for hundreds of thousands of dollars and how as a designer he works everything from his business to design to content creation everything and it's absolutely free every tuesday he is going to do this so all you have to do is enter your email for free and you're going to get all of this his 1 million plus dollar plus plan that he's created for all of us again mikal is someone that a lot of people look up to he's someone who i've come across many times we've gone back and forth and uh, someone i truly can admire for a lot of different things so go ahead check it out okay so this guy is doing the lord's work for us abid ahmed has collected a bunch of different ux portfolios 100 plus actually and just put it out in a list here on linkedin <laughs> which is really cool So you'll find your portfolios of Meta designers, Google designers, Microsoft, Apple, Airbnb. Honestly, a lot of stuff that I could steal for my videos. But really cool asset that you know, just a bunch of designers appreciate uh, in his comments as well. So go th- go ahead, check this out. You can save this for your LinkedIn or save this in your notebook. for inspiration for, for the future a lot of these design a lot of this design work is insane the portfolios that he's mentioned are chef's kits so go ahead check this out i think this will be super useful okay this is all for your premium people out there who love premium design work so this is a paid premium portfolio template honestly beautiful minimal and very trendy very uh modern to be honest it's called portfolio x it's for webflow and figma uh, so you'll get the figma file as well as the webflow so you can work together with it and with the webflow plugin in figma you can work with it seamlessly it's absolutely beautiful i want to quickly just check out some of the variants that they've made one is this one a lot of different animations and interactions custom menus hell yeah uh you can actually scroll down and see everything that you they have to offer you the the interactions are actually very very premium Now, i w- believe there are different variants for different things for blogs for contacts for port- just the portfolio section in itself and everything is exceptional 
I think if you're willing to create something and you want something premium this year, this is 100% something that should be on top of your list. It's called Portfolio X. Again, they're not paying me anything. This is just something that I stumbled upon and it's it's marvelous. The designs are just chef's kiss once again. This developer, the Bricks Templates developers, these guys have a lot of other things to option for free as well as paid. So you can always check more out which are similar. We're going to see a lot of stuff in at Figma Config this year, so I'm really excited. If you're excited and you want me to cover that, make sure you subscribe to the channel for an upcoming video on that. Turn the bell icon on so that you get my videos in your feed every week. I'll see you next week. Until next week, take care.